Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday, or whatever day it is where you are watching this from. I'm Leslie with the Plaid Poodle, and I usually come on every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Central for coffee and a card, and we make a card together. There is a slight delay, but I encourage you to make comments. So if you're here, hi, Donna. Um, say hello, and um, I do send cards out to people who comment. I draw names from the comments and send the card we made out. And I sent one to Carol Schaefer recently. Let me show this one. She sent me one back. It was so cute. Isn't that lovely? Um, she has, looks like she's masked and either sponged or braid on some um, ink and then stamped her image right up over top of that and she had the loveliest note inside. So Carol usually joins us when she can and I appreciate that. Carol, if you watch this later. Um, I just went on last night, so I'm not sure everybody's going to be around today. It is another beautiful day in Kansas City. Got some kiddos playing in their backyard a couple houses down, and it's just so fun to hear their, hi Chris, hear their little voices and their, their little chirps when they're playing. I ate my lunch out on our porch, and I enjoyed listening to that. Um we got to enjoy the simple things right now, I think. Um, thank you guys for ordering. Um, uh, people who ordered yesterday with the start of the catalog didn't have um, trouble. So I think there's a little bit of an issue finding where to put the host code. And I will try and figure that out um, later today. I'm going to place an order today. So... Maybe while I'm playing around, I can figure that out. Um, the hostess drawing for August will be for the Flying Home stamp set. I think it's so cute. This is a hostess set, a, a retired hostess set. Um, it is a red rubber stamp set. And I just think it's so cute. The little birds and the little butterflies adorable. So um, that is for that. The card we're making today, I mentioned last night, if you were on last night, is using the sweet, um, I guess I'm not ready to jump into Christmas yet. It's using the Gilded Autumn Suite and we're using the stamp set, the Beautiful Autumn Bundle. Actually, the Beautiful Autumn Stamp Set. We are not going to use the punches. Um, but if you purchase it in a bundle, it comes with three punches, which you just got to have the punches because they do punch out all of the, the little acorn and the, the leaves. Looks like a maple leaf and an oak leaf. I showed this card last night that I made using the punches. It was so fun. I just punched or I stamped a bunch of images and then punched them out. It really didn't take that long and then die cut a circle out and just put them on there with um, mini stamp and dimensionals were the perfect size for the little the little images. But the card we're gonna make today, I was trying to think of some kind of new technique or new something I could show you or share. And I really just came up with a pretty card. Um, it has lots of layers and texture. And I went ahead and used the little um, acorn trinket on this card that I showed last night. So um, if you have a stamp set with um, similar images or smaller images, this is a fun little way to oh thank you Donna um use those stamps kind of they're kind of growing out of the center of the card 
and then we covered up all the messy parts with the little um, I, I keep calling it a belly band but it's not really a true belly band because it doesn't go around so it's just a little strip <laughs> So I think what we'll do is get our die cutting out of the way first in our embossing. I die cut a oval out of, this is Mossy Meadow. I kind of chose fall colors. I might have just dropped the, the die I need. Nope, I think it's this one. Yeah, that one. And then I used the Stitched Shapes largest stitched shape oval for the maybe not the largest the second to the largest there we go and I wanted the sentiment to really fill that space so I used the largest sentiment which is my heart is grateful for you which I've already got on a <laughs> a block and I used just the Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I wanted it to show up because we have so many colors on this card. I tried it with the um, Mossy Meadow and it looked okay but it kind of got lost so I went back and used the black ink. Oh my gosh, it, we've got our first um, First, what do you call it? How can I get rid of that comment, y'all? I'm going to go, um, <laughs> unless you were wanting to get that message, Donna Pollock. We've got our first scammer thing. Where is my iPad? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not going to let that happen. So I'm going to send... Um, log on here on my iPad and block that person. <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing the comment that I'm seeing. I wonder how to do it. I know there's a way. I need to probably have someone watch or make someone else kind of an administrator so when these things pop up, <clears throat> let me go on this other page, I'm so sorry you guys, <laughs> then they can handle it and I don't have to handle it. Because I know you can get rid of their comments. I'm sure it's just a robot thing. It's disconcerting, isn't it? Well, I'm not figuring it out right now. Hopefully, Mr. Wizzy will leave us alone for the rest of the <laughs> thing, and I will figure that out. Um, it's I'm sure it's what the, what they call a a robot. You know, they 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 go around um, searching for things, and he found us. I didn't know my page was so important. Um, disregard Mr. Wizzy's comment. I guess we could have had worse. Don't you, uh, aren't you glad that you can sell things that way? Yeah, I wonder how much, how that works for them. Okay. So I am going to... 
die cut. Are you all still here with me? If you're here, let's see. Give me a thumbs up or something. It's got me kind of rattled. Okay, so I have cut these out. And we're going to um, emboss the little white strip. Oh, good. You're still here. Okay. I'll figure out how to do that, how to block those people. <laughs> um, I might change my password and stuff, but I, I need to figure that out. I, I can't get it too close. But it's embossed with the, um, what is the name of this? It's the... I typed all the things out and then I left it over on the printer. It's something tailored. I like to give you good information. It's my new favorite. Tasteful textile is not tailored. Anyway, so I'm taking the little strip of Whisper White, which is three and five eighths by something. I've lost it. Here it is. And I'm gonna spritz it with a little water, which is optional. But since this is a 3D folder, um, it supposedly makes the impression deeper. And that's all the die cutting and embossing we're going to do. Let's see if you can see this better. If I put it on the green. It's just a real subtle little, and it doesn't really matter which side you use. So there, we've got our layers, and now we're going to do our stamping. And what I did for the card, because I wanted these things to be placed pretty symmetrical to each other, is I went ahead and put this together and kind of used it as a guide. kind of did that backwards because this is still a little damp and I didn't want my adhesive to tear that um, <coughs> paper. So I'm going to kind of use this as a little guide to where I need to stamp. And I'm going to start out with some Mossy Meadow. Let's just pull everything out. because there are a lot of stamps we're going to use today out of this set. Okay. So I'm going to start with the Mossy Meadow. Set these aside. Which is this one. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put these wheat cuz I'm just I just kind of started with the three one in the center and one on each side. So I'm going to ink that up and put this in the center just to kind of eyeball where I need to stamp it. And then I removed it to get it out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> then I, I don't know that I needed it, but I'm going to make this one up a little higher. I used this image, 
with some this image right here with some old olive ink. I kind of wanted it peeking up just a little bit. I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. And I think I only put one, but I'm going to put two on this one. Yeah, you could draw a pencil line. I couldn't find a pencil. <laughs> I have bunches of pens down here and markers. And then I took the old olive and I stamped off on this. Um, each of these images, which is kind of cool, has the, um, the outline and the fill-in. So I stamped them off once so that would... Um, we wouldn't lose the veins and everything from those leaves. And then I'm going to do that again. And I just got ink all over my finger. I don't want to get that on my cardstock. Okay, so I'm just going to mirror that, what we just did. And then take, you know what guys, I use that with Old Olive, but I don't think it's going to show that much. I am going to <clears throat> wipe off this stamp a little bit because I don't want that stem to show through the other part underneath that band. I didn't really need to ink it up that much. And then I'm going to take this fill in and stamp off once. There we go. So that looks pretty good. Only that is old olive instead of mossy meadow. <clears throat> But I'm going to put that on the bottom, and I don't think anybody will notice. All the, actually, I'm going to put it on the top. Okay, then I filled in with the other little images. I took some Cajun craze and just kind of put one in the middle of everything. and filled them in again with the little solid image. I stamped it off once too. If you had some small flower floral images, this is a cute idea to use um, with that. You're just mirroring um, the bottom and the top. We're done with our oak leaves. Okay, and then I added the third color with um, bumblebee yellow. So 
so I picked really autumnal colors. See how we're doing here. I think I'm going to put that little guy down there. And the little leaf even has a solid, so I'm going to put those in. And we'll do the same thing down here. I'm just kind of picking some random open spots that would look like it would look good. <laughs> it would look good there. Okay, that's all the stamping. We are done. We just need to put the card together. So I've got a piece of thick, thick whisper white for the um, base. And I believe I cut this one a little smaller than I normally do. This is three and three fourths by five. I kind of liked the bigger frame around on this one. I don't know why. I wanted to go that way. And I also made the mossy meadow a little, I usually put a fourth of an inch bigger than the, the stamp layer, but I did an eighth of an inch bigger. So I'll have all these dimensions over on my blog. Um, later this afternoon if you want to make a card like this and use the same dimensions kind of like it this way and we didn't use any um, designer series paper we're just using our stamps and ink to really make a pretty card Okay, got a big glob of ink there, but it'll dry. I had re-inked my mossy meadow <laughs> this morning, so it's probably, but that was the old olive. So I'm going to put this little guy right in the center. And then our sentiment. And I am going to put that on with some dimensionals. right in the center there. Make sure it's straight. Okay. And then I just used the um, <clears throat> basket weave metallic ribbon, <clears throat> excuse me, combo pack. I used the metallic ribbon and here we go. The little um, acorn trinkets. It's a mess over here, I tell you. <laughs> I need a secretary. Okay, and then some a little bit of linen thread. We're going to tie the acorn trinket onto our bow with a little bit of linen thread. And I apologize for the ugly ink on my hand.
I don't want it too big because I don't want it to cover up my, my little sentiment there. I think that's good. I really love this ribbon. I think metallics are still really in fashion, in vogue with things, even in our crafting. Okay, these little acorn trinkets, how many do we get? We get 20 in a pack. And they are copper colored. So I'm just going to kind of tie a knot. This is one of the cards you would probably want a little piece of foam over it um, if you mailed it or mail it in a padded envelope. I'm, I'm just afraid it might tear your envelope in process with that little um, trinket. It would definitely need probably more postage because it's going to be too thick to put through the, um, they'll have to hand um, process it at the post office. But you know, beautiful cards are like a gift, really. You, I would just love this card. Okay, then I'm going to just adhere that onto my, probably with some glue dots here, mini glue dots. I'm going to trim up that linen thread here in a sec. I just put it right here on the little edge of the tag. So cute. Trim up my ribbon a little bit. There we go. Oh my gosh, look what I did with my thumb. I think I can put a new tag on there and fix that. <laughs> did y'all see what I did? Oh my gosh. Got to be careful with that ink. Anyway, um, thank you girls for stepping in, especially when, since we just had something last night. Um, I appreciate your, um, your participation and I um, hope you like the card and we will talk soon. Bye-bye.